at COVID. Amen. I like this place. <laughs> I like this. Woo! <laughs> Jesus. Can I tell you that most people, most preachers, most pastors that died last year, can I tell you they didn't die from COVID-19? Can I, can I suggest to you, now, huh, come on, help me preach it like they do it, come on. Can I suggest to you right now that these people died not because of COVID-19, but because God got tired. And so can I tell you that if I turn this sacred desk into my own stage and podium, and make myself a God before you, God has to stand up now and flex his muscles it's because there's a scripture. Somebody say it's a scripture that says there shall not be no other gods before me. And if I make myself a God here, I make myself an enemy of God. What do you think he's going to do? Let's put two and two together. If I'm fighting against him, who's going to win? If I'm, if I'm sitting here saying it ain't about you, it's about me, who's going to win? If I keep now, listen, can I borrow somebody? Come here, Giovanni. Let me tell you, if I keep allowing pride to win, this is God right there, that speaker, right? Pride comes in and says, no, no, go in there, go. God is calling you. No, 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 go in there. Yo, leave him alone. Shut up. Keep going, keep going. If I keep submitting to pride, pride is now my God. There is a scripture that says, what you say? God resists the proud, but then he said, he, the, the, those that are proud here bring them down to destruction. He'll bring them no, right? It makes sense. Uh, that's, maybe that should have been entitled, it makes sense. It makes sense why most people died last year because pride was their God, fame was their God, and they became an enemy of God because they wanted the tides and they wanted the best musician, but they didn't care about your soul. There is a scripture that's literally, what is it, verse what God, thank you, it is verse 13, 15, Matthew chapter 7, verse, I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it, Matthew chapter 7, I'm all out of these notes. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, it says, beware. And the last time, now, I'm not a preacher that went to seminary. I got my own convictions about that because Paul said, read it. This is Bible. I'm not going to give you opinion. It's Bible. Galatians chapter 1, Paul said, I didn't get my message from men. I didn't get my message from their organizations. I didn't get my message because they decided to see that enemy. Only one person gave me my message, and that was Jesus. I'm just simple enough to follow what Bible says. S seminary is destroying the church because we're, war we we're, we're worrying about more of the philosophy and all this weird stuff that don't make sense to Bible, but it makes sense to your ears. Oh, don't they run to whatever their ancient ears want to hear and find teachers that... Get back to this verse. Verse 15 says, Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep but are really ravenous wolves. That's scripture, right? Did I make that up, ma'am? Did I make that up? No, okay, great. That's scripture. If the, if the Bible is true, because I heard a song back in the day, the Bible is true and everybody is a liar, right? So if the Bible is true, you know what that means? Some of the people that the church support decided never to be saved. How can a wolf give up his wolf ship to be a sheep? The Bible just says you'll know them by their what? Fruit. How can he detach himself from his identity? How? How can a wolf say, all right, today I'm going to be a sheep. No more wolf stuff for you. I don't want that. He can't. It can't. <laughs> which means, which means they never got saved. Never got saved. If they never got saved, why are they teaching and preaching in front of us? And if they're teaching and preaching in front of us, who, what are they giving us? What, what are they giving us? Because it's not from the spirit of Christ. It's from the spirit of the Antichrist. And it makes sense why we can't move forward because something in us was deposited. 
And so now illegal hands touched us. Illegal voices got in our ears. And so now they implant, I feel God now. They implanted a hidden agenda in us. So now it makes sense while we're in church and everybody say, lift your hands. I don't feel like it. Because something is in us. Because of who we like. If you come off of TV and get in this Bible, things you see on TV, ain't going, you ain't going to like no more. Now, I was all with the originals. I used to love the originals. What? Vampire, all that weird stuff. I used to love it. But then I had a problem. The problem was, why I'm watching this on Monday, but then I can't pray on Tuesday. I can't. Because the thing I like is demonic against God. What is it doing to my spirit? It's making me contrary to who? God. So God says, stop sinning. Man, I don't want that religion if it's just going to keep giving me a book of rules. God said, come out from amongst them and be ye separate. And, and I'm sitting there saying, why I got to be alone, God? You, before you was there, they were there. He said, touch not the unclean thing. And, and we're still doing everything that is contrary to him. Check this out. The Bible says, you see that young lady right there in the red? I'm sorry to pick on you. It's just a good, good place to put it. The Bible says, shun, and you said this yesterday, shun the very appearance of evil. Can I tell you, if she looks evil, the Bible says, run, run. Why are we still supporting her? Why? Why? If the message is more about money, why are you supporting it? If I see my pastor living like a rap star, why am I supporting it? Why? Why? Because you know what happens? What happens is I gravitate to the, to the very thing that I want. <laughs> so it makes sense. I want to be a millionaire. I'm tired of being broke. That's why I believe, oh, God, I'm going to mess up. Woo! Woo! Jesus, let me calm down because... Oh, God. We're going to fight on that one, God. I can't say that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm, I keep gambling with God and want to keep doing all these prayer lines and, and all this money messages. And, oh, the, it's, it's, thank, it's uh, what is, uh, January, so it makes sense for us to give 2021, 20, you know, and, 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 and our offerings, $221, you know, and let the whole church do it because I'm going to give to what I want. I'm going to give to what I want. And if I want foolishness, I'm going to give to foolishness. But if I want God, then I understand that there's some training and work that I got to put into God. So if I want him, I got to work in him. Please don't tell me you got God and you're still battling with the very thing you had when you first got saved. New levels, new devils. Why you still got the same devil? Come on. You came to God cussing? At least be still be fornicating at least. Don't keep having the same sin. Something should be dropping off of you. Why are you still looking the same? Why is the people ushering bitter, nasty, ugly, messed up? Why? Because we don't when we come to God through that narrow door, we gotta drop off and dismantle ourselves. Is anybody want Jesus results? I'm done. Mm -hmm.